this video we will explore lost books and fines, collecting or waiving fines, reversing fines, refunding fines, and working with ad hoc fines. When dealing with fines, always log in as the teacher librarian. To declare a book lost, call up the borrower record in standard checkout. Check mark the copies which you wish to declare lost and click the lost button. Depending upon your library's configuration, you may be given the option to assign or alter the amount of the fine. The system will change the status to lost and levy the fines that have been set up for your library. The title will be removed from the items on loan screen and the fine levied will show in the box beside the borrower's picture. Details of a patron's fines can be found under the Collect Fines tab. You can also click the Fine and Overdue report on this screen if you wish to send a note home with the borrower. Call up the borrower in Standard Checkout. To accept payment for lost material, Click the Collect Fines tab. Select the title by placing a check mark in the box to the left of it and click the Collect button. A payment box will appear. Partial payments can be made by adjusting the amount accepted and clicking OK. To pay the entire amount, just click OK. To issue a receipt for the money collected, click the Receipt button. Click OK for today's date. To waive the fine for a lost item, click on the Waive button. To waive a part of the fine, indicate the amount to be waived either as a dollar amount or a percentage of the total. Enter a comment in the note box. This is a mandatory field. Then click OK. The fine will either be cleared or adjusted accordingly. To reverse a fine, call up the borrower in Standard Checkout. Then click on the Fine History tab. Select the payment that needs to be corrected and then click on the Reverse button. Click Yes. There are two options. You can reverse because of a mistake or reverse with a credit. Click on the Collect Fine tab to show the recreated fine and then deal with it once again accordingly. When checking in lost material that has been paid for, a message box will appear. Click OK. A refund fine box will then appear. You can do one of three things. You can click OK to credit the full amount to the patron's account and it will show up as a credit amount but not linked to a specific title. You can change the amount and click OK to give a partial credit, or you can click Cancel to clear the refund altogether. A credit box will appear at checkout if a borrower has a credit on their account. To refund them the money, select the Collect Fines tab. Click the Withdraw button. The note field is optional. Click OK. Some libraries may choose to levy non-circulation related fines or ad hoc fines. In standard checkout, activate the borrower's account. Select the Collect Fines tab and then click Ad Hoc Fines button. Select the type of fine in the drop-down menu. Enter the amount that is to be charged. Comments may be entered in the Notes field if desired. Then click OK. Ad hoc fines are paid in the same way as lost book fines. And that concludes our tour of circulation. 
You now know how to deal with lost books and fines, collecting or waiving fines, reversing fines, refunding fines, and working with ad hoc fines. If you have any questions, just contact the Library Help Desk at 416-395-8285 or email library at tdsb.on.ca. You can also use our new Library Help chat room found on our AW page.